GW501516. It's quite a mouthful, but basically this is just a fat burner. And it's not a SARM and it's not a steroid. But a lot of people call it a SARM, but it's not. It's a fat burner. So this video is all about GW for short. I first used GW in 2012 prepping for nationals where I won my pro card and this stuff is awesome and uh, it's not actually for human consumption so it's one of these research chemicals that you're not supposed to actually use that millions of people are using you know one of these gray area supplements you can't buy it at GNC for example but you know it's not a steroid it's not a legal type of thing so don't actually take it whatever um, so anyway it is banned in sporting competition so if you're actually doing a drug tested sport so like the one in a hundred of you that are doing say a drug tested bodybuilding show you're not allowed to take this you will fail the drug test if you're in the Olympics you will fail everyone would want to take it if you wouldn't fail because it is really amazing this stuff is actually legit awesome it's freakishly good stuff now, why is it bad? So I'll start with what do people say about it that's bad? So like, why not just have the whole world take it? Well, some studies have shown that it can cause cancer. Sounds horrible, right? They, they take some mice and they do a study and they give them like 50 times the amount that a person would take and then they find, oh, it can cause cancer. 50 times the normal dose. Okay. There's not many drugs in this world that you can take at 50 times the normal dose and not die from, so to speak. Try taking 50 Tylenols a day for a couple days when you have a, you know, a sickness. Try taking 50 aspirin. Try taking 50 of anything. Try drinking 50 glasses of water. Even water is good for you, but it can kill you if you have too much. In low doses, GW can actually reduce cancer. So, is it really that risky? No. If you t if you abuse it and go nuts and just take 50 times, which is no one's going to do that, then I wouldn't do it. Yeah, it doesn't seem good. I mean, if you're really worried about cancer, then put your sunscreen on in the morning and go outside and don't freaking go into the sun and suntan. That's going to cause more cancer for everyone. So if you're worried about GW causing cancer, don't even say that if you ever have been outside without putting sunblock. I don't even care if it's the winter. It's not that dangerous for cancer. So get that out of your mind. Go to dosing. What's a normal dose? 10 to 20 milligrams a day is kind of a normal dose. 10 milligrams a day would be considered a beginner type of dose. 20 milligrams a day would be considered like a higher dose or like a max dose. What does it do? Okay. It increases your endurance. So basically, if you were going to do an hour of cardio and you're on a diet and you're like tired after an hour, you would want to do two hours of cardio because it would make you feel like you have endurance. The ability to endure and withstand your workout and your exercise and make you feel better. It actually makes you feel more energetic. You're better feeling like you feel better. I think it's called a sense of well-being, like feeling good about in your own skin. You feel good. So, awesome. Now, people are probably wondering, well, what does it do? How does it like do that? It's not a stimulant. So, you can take it right before bed and go to sleep. It's not like a caffeine pill. It's not like ephedrine. It's not like clenbuterol, which is a PED that a lot of people are going to use to burn fat as well. It is non-stimulant based. So, it's like no crash, in other words. If you take a pre-workout and you get all buzzed up and you go train, we all like to do that. You come home, then maybe you crash. This doesn't do that. It gives you better energy. How does it work? It makes your body run on fat more than or as opposed to using more carbs. So you're burning off fat stores better. We'll just make it real simple. So you're running on fat, you're burning fat more, you have more endurance, you can go longer, you can train harder. Do you need that when you're like off season not dieting? No, you don't want to use this stuff year round. You shouldn't use it more than say 60 days, 90 at the most, like two or three months tops type thing. So just don't go nuts and don't abuse it and just be like, oh, I'm starting my 16 week cycle, I'm gonna go 20 milligrams 
boom, day one diet. No, save it for when you need it, when you're starting to get lower on your energy and you need the energy to keep going, okay? Not liver toxic, not gonna mess up your blood work, not gonna shut down your body's production of testosterone. It's not a steroid, it's not a SARM even. It is irrelevant, it's on a different spectrum of this stuff. So don't even worry about that. So it's not gonna make you unhealthy if you take it. So your blood work is, it's gonna be healthy. It's not gonna like mess up your cholesterol and your kidneys and your liver and your blood pressure and all these things, okay? So no real side effects to, to speak of, just feeling good. And um, the last thing before I close the video, be cautious if it's fake. I've seen people buy product and they tell me, oh, I didn't feel it. And, it, you know, or they paid hardly anything for it. It's probably fake if it was too cheap or if you didn't feel it working. Because this stuff, it should make you feel worked in a day or two. Like, it's not like a month later you're going to start noticing. It's like, man, yeah, I feel really good. So, I would say 95% of the people that I've talked to that use this, even though you're not supposed to use it, people are using it. They like it and would want to keep taking it and recommend it. It's a very, very positive feedback compared to almost anything, really. <clears throat> so, I'm not saying to go and use this. I'm saying it's not supposed to be used by humans. It's supposed to be researched. But if you do, there you have it. That's some information to go by. Do what you want with it. At least now you know.